So now you can see this file has been downloaded and this will finally be a zip file and in case if I open this zip you can see all these stock firmware files are inside this zip. Hi guys and welcome back to another great and exciting tutorial. So today I am having these two mobiles with me. This one is Galaxy S10 and this one on the right hand side is Galaxy S7. So this one is on stock Android 10 and this one is also an Android 10 but this is not the stock ROM, it is Lineage OS version 17. So today I am going to address one of the important thing which comes into picture when we run into any problem with the current OS, whether that is the stock OS or a custom OS like this Lineage OS. So the problem which I am talking about today is how to revert to the actual stock ROM on any Android mobile from either a broken stock OS or a custom OS. Which means in case if you are facing any trouble in your current stock ROM or you are not happy with the custom ROM. So in order to fulfill this, first we have to download the stock ROM for any of these mobiles. So today I am going to present an awesome free software for your Windows PC through which you can download any stock ROM for any Samsung mobile and that too for any country. So now I'll switch back to my PC in order to show you how to download that. So guys I'm on my PC now. So I'll open the software which I was talking about. So the software which I was telling is called as Samfun. So this is a free software. And this zip, I'll give the link in the description below. You can download from there. And this zip we have to extract. And then we have to open this exe called as Samfirm. I'll open it. So this is kind of very simplistic software. What we have to do here is, we have to select the model number. And here you can see full list of all the Android mobiles made by Samsung. And the second thing which we have to select here is the region. So region depends on the place where you live. So I live in India. So it has all the list for all the regions. So there you can select from the drop down. So as I have shown you, I have Galaxy S10. So I have to put the model number here in the first box. And in case if you don't know your mobile model number, you can go to settings and about phone. From there you can know the mobile model number. So for me, it's SM G970F and the region I live in India. So I'll select India. So here you can see three entries for India. So I know the entry I have to select is INS. But in case if one does not work for you, you can select from others also. So for me, I'll select INS. And next thing which we have to do is we have to click on check updates. So it will check for that region and that mobile. Whatever is the latest firmware available. So here you can see the lookup has returned the Android OS version 10. The file is available and all the details it has shown. And the size it has shown is 5.042 GB. So this is the actual stock firmware file available for that mobile in that location as of now. So once we click this download ROM, it will start downloading. But the main thing which you have to see here is you have to always keep selecting this decrypt automatically. So what this will do is as soon as the ROM gets downloaded, it will be encrypted. And when we click this decrypt automatically, it will automatically be decrypted and created into a normal zip file. So now everything looks okay and we can download but still I'll go for some other mobile so I'll go for my Galaxy S7 so for Galaxy S7 the model number is SMG 930F so I'll select that and just to show you that other regions also work here so I'll select suppose some other region so I'll select Brazil just to show you that this also works I'll click on check updates so here the lookup has returned that Android Oreo which is Android 8 is only available for Galaxy S7. 
and all the details are shown here. So here you can see the file size is 2.691 GB. Decrypt automatically is already selected and I'll click on download ROM. So now it will ask where I want to download this. So I'll select some path and I'll click save. So here you can see it has started showing that the file is in download and here is the progress. So once that download is done, I'll show you. So now you can see this file has been downloaded and this will finally be a zip file. And in case if I open this zip, you can see all these stock firmware files are inside this zip. So in case if you want to flash this stock firmware, you need the Odin tool. So flashing the actual stock ROM on any Samsung mobile using the Odin tool, I'll show in a separate video. So that's it for this video. I hope you would have liked the video. All the links will be there in the description below. You can download this SamFirm tool. Cheers. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.